Mia here. Happy New Year. My goodness, I hope everyone had an amazing holiday season. I know I sure did, uh, but I'm definitely ready to get back at it as well. So in honor of the start of 2019, um, I wanted to support Mr. Jerry Visca on his um, 11 inspired actions for 2019. And I thought maybe I might share some of mine with you as well. I don't have 11 because it's a weird number, but I've got a few. So the first inspired action I have for you is to stop wasting time. Time is precious, so waste it wisely. Um, give up making excuses and blaming others for what's not going the way you want it to go. Just take responsibility for how you're showing up and uh, make it happen. Giving up perfectionism is a good one as well because it's perfectly okay to be perfectly imperfect, really. And there's really no such thing as perfection unless, of course, you're flying a shuttle to the moon. So the sooner you can let go of that whole concept of perfectionism, it's possible you might be able to also let go of the idea of procrastination. Um, giving up toxic people. Probably don't have to say a whole lot more about that. But you know, you kind of are who you hang out with. So if the people that you're hanging out with are kind of full of drama and negativity and toxicity, maybe you might want to find some new friends. Um, giving up the desire or the need to be liked by everyone. You're good enough the way you are, so if they don't like you the way you are, screw them. Um, control. Giving up control is a tough one for a lot of people, but it's amazing how much space you free up in your brain when you let go of some of the stuff that you can't control. You actually can't control other people or their actions or their thoughts or the ways they show up. All you can do is sort of control the way you show up and your thoughts and your reactions and your words. And the last one I'm gonna share because it's kind of fun is giving up the word but. And I don't mean that as in a short word for but talk. I mean, but as in you're really beautiful, but I don't like your hair. So whatever is on the left side of but is usually negated by whatever's on the right side of but. So maybe try exchanging the word but for and and see how that shows up. In other words, you can have whatever's on the left side of but and whatever's on the right side of butt. I think you're beautiful and I love your hair. Give it a try. See what happens. Anyways, that is my inspired action for now. You never know, I might break each one down a little further and give you a bit more support around each one as we move forward. So maybe pick one, see how it shows up for you for the next week and have fun doing it. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, YouTube, and just not in my car, please. Thanks. Chat soon.